Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I feel like the energy that's coming through is going to be a very, very majorly important month when it comes to your public image and your career. Okay. And uh, there are a few things that are, you know, scattered across different sectors of your life. And so I'm going to go into some overall messages that came through when I was shuffling out the spread and then we'll go into the spread. Um, I feel for some of you, um, especially for those of you who are uh, a little bit worried about your financial situation, there will be part-time work contracts that are coming through is what I'm, I'm getting. And that basically means that, you know, work that might be um, very part-time, it might be very seasonal, it might also be very temporary. And so I feel like some of you might literally just uh, get a work contract and you're just like, you're looking for a full-time job. You're looking for more financial stability, but I feel like the, the jobs that are coming through are short term. And so you sign a contract and there's a definite term limit, like time limit. And so they're really urging you to look into temp agencies, look into, you know, um, expanding outside of your usual um, types of work in order to land something that might be very financially lucrative. So I feel like some of you might need to piece together a few jobs, like, you know, two or three that you really enjoy doing to break up the monotony of, you know, the work environment so that you're not feeling like you're trapped in one thing and that you can also develop um, more skills as well. So that's really important, especially for those of you who are kind of, you feel a little bit pigeonholed into one type of work and you feel like it's really hard for you to break out. So I feel like the traditional nine to five route for you might not be appropriate. And so they're telling you to branch into other options and especially looking into temporary gigs so that you can either dabble in it on the side or do something like a few part-time things in order to piece together a wholesome job. Okay. So that's going to be really important for those of you who are looking. Um, I'm getting the message here um, regarding, you know, this is a very, very important love month. Okay, so the, the love month basically indicates overcoming challenges in, in love relationships, uh, identifying relationship patterns that might have kept us in a, a cyclical pattern, might have kept us in a holding cell, breaking out of those things so that we can become very, very purposeful when it comes to identifying what we want, what we value, and not straying from, you know, like um, averting, you know, obstacles in relationships so that you can figure out how to be a good relationship partner. So I do see this is a month where a lot of inner work is happening from your end. And a lot of it has to do with how you communicate, how other people are um, perceiving you, and not bending yourself and, and blending into the environment, like not being a social chameleon, but really standing up for your own truths and the things that you value and the things that you believe in. So there will be social pressure coming through to uh, force you to behave a specific way to fit into this mold that, you know, your social group, your professional circle has of you. And so doing something that is um, basically following in other people's footsteps, doing something that is socially expected of you is not going to um, be beneficial for you this month. It's really important to really, you know, verbalize uh, what you feel is important and to stand up for what you believe is the truth. OK, so having said that, let's go into your reading here. Um, the first thing I'm feeling here is this is a month that is very heavily oriented towards communication. And in your communication sector, we have here the emperor. And this is a, an authority figure in some of your work environment, for those of you dealing with this, who is a little bit bullish, uh, quite difficult to deal with, very uh, perfectionistic and wants a, sp a specific done thing done a very specific way. So this is somebody who's very like... Um, I want to say like um, almost like OCD, like obsessive compulsive when it comes to having things done his or her specific way. And I feel like you're coming to a head with this person where you don't uh, agree on the same things. You might have a lot of creative differences, but this is somebody who is in a position of power. So they might have some control over your work processes. They might want you to do something that they feel has to be done this way. And so in your communication, you're not innately a confrontational sign. And so when conflict happens, I feel like you're very conflict averse. You're very um, 
um, conflict avoidant as well. And so I don't feel you're standing up for yourself properly. And I don't feel that you're communicating in a manner to allow your own truths to shine. So that's very important coming in for this month, okay? A lot of the times, and I'm looking at this card in your communication and also this in your work sector, where your creative energy is being um, stifled by an overpowering, um, overwhelming and an overpowering authority figure in your work environment. And I feel like there are a lot of people in the work environment that um, made things difficult and they might have been just, you know, just a, a little bit more cutthroat, very assertive and almost aggressive. And you don't want conflict. So the way that you communicate, it's more like erring on the side of damage control, erring on the side of diplomacy. And it's not really allowing you to make traction. And so because of that, I would really urge you when communicating with another person, a lot of the times the, the hard things that we have to uh, communicate, the, the messages that we need to get across, it needs to be very direct, not confrontational, just very direct, very thoroughly explained and, and gets to the point. Okay, so don't skirt around issues. Don't try to smooth things over, sweep things under the rug when you are communicating so that you can communicate your truth. And a lot of the times people might not be ready or willing to accept the truth, but we have to behave in a manner that is forthright, forthcoming to yield the result that we're looking for. So this is going to extend not just work, but I do feel it's coming in strongly in the work environment where you feel a little bit overpowered by somebody else's energies or by somebody else's ego. And as a result of that, I feel like you are, um, you're, you're, you might like want to just blend into the environment. You might want to play the wallflower and you might want to do things, everything just vary by the book and not want to, you know, upset anybody. And so conflict is going to brew. And if this situation is not taken care of where you, become a lot more assertive and a lot more sure of what you are, what messages you're conveying. I do feel this is going to be problematic further down the, you know, as we progress through 2017. So this is coming through authority figure in your miss that you have a hard time convincing that you have a hard time dealing with because their energy is, is very assertive and almost like borderline aggressive and just, you know, controlling as well. Okay. So that's what I feel coming through, first of all. The second thing that is coming in is um, I do see a very, um, uh, like a scatter energy with you. You have a lot of practical responsibilities that needs to be taken care of, okay? And this deals more with family, like practical responsibilities to partners, to children, to um, the work environment. Uh, going to the nine to five, taking care of your bills, like doing things that is socially acceptable, like social conformity, social engagements that you need to uh, attend as well, because I feel like there will be a lot of social functions coming through. The weather is getting nicer here in the Northern Hemisphere. So I feel like, you know, a lot of reunions, a lot of meeting up and a lot of social engagements where it takes a really long time to get there as well. So your time is being diverted and it is being scattered towards many, many people for this month. And especially for those who are single, I feel like there might be a little bit of a flake out energy with the people that you're dealing with. And it's also Mercury in retrograde. So if you have agreed on a specific location, a specific time, a specific venue to meet up with somebody, I do feel like um, you're, you know, expending a lot of energy, finalizing plans, meeting up with people and not having it pan out the, the exact way that you're hoping for. So there's a lot of time that is wasted or time that you feel is lost and you could have been better off doing something else, doing something productive. So try to minimize, you know, where you are devoting your time and not scattering your energy. That's going to be very important for you. For some of you, you are dealing with a major house move as well. So you have practical responsibilities, finding a new location, finding, finding out how to, you know, um, move all of your things like transferring your belongings or even transporting your belongings. So there's a lot of social functions. I feel like it takes a bit of time to meet up with another person. They might be at a distance from you 
and you're working out the logistics and then you might realize that you know they're not where they're supposed to be and so a lot of just time wasted and on top of that you have responsibilities piling up some of you are moving houses as well and so draw back your energy don't scatter it far and wide draw back your energy and focus on the practical things that you need to take care of okay so for example um, don't say oh let's do this next week let's do that next week because people are going to take you at face value so unless you mean it unless you absolutely feel like okay energetically I think I have enough energy to do that I think I have enough time so I'm just gonna throw it out there so don't do that okay finalize plans in a more thorough and in a more practical way okay otherwise I feel like there's gonna be a lot of chaos and a lot of um, mishaps in the social outing front where people are not where they're supposed to be and you're not getting like uh, you, you might catch a little bit of criticism from their end okay and I feel like you are very, very sensitive to criticism as well. So this energy, I feel like it's uh, hovering around you. And so the best way to avoid it is, you know, say what you mean and only commit to things when you absolutely know for a fact that you can follow through. So I would say, you know, plan things a week out. And if something is a little bit far out of that time frame, like if it's like two, three weeks out or two or three months down the line, then you might need to tell them, let's get a rain check on that, okay? So minimize your social outings a little bit. You're stretching yourself really thin, feeling guilty, not wanting to upset other people by saying, uh, n by saying no. And so your sense of assertion as to what you want to do, what you don't want to do, I feel like you're eager to please or you want to please. And you're at a point where you're running your yourself ragged trying to please everybody. And that is not a smart move, okay? So conserve your energy, conserve your time. You're going to be um, kind of like at a, you're in high demand when it comes to social outings. And uh, when it comes to your social circle as well, when it comes to dating for those who are single. But I feel like don't run yourself ragged trying to please everybody, okay? Be a little bit more methodical with your time. Um, I see a little bit of a time crunch, but a lot of it has to do with just, um, um, lack of organization and lack of uh, time management so that's where it's coming through so don't scatter yourself too much okay um, in your work environment with the magician in the reverse position this is feeling stuck feeling stifled feeling as if we're not able to make the traction in the career path that we're in and so some of you are kind of like thinking about getting a raise you feel like I have a lot of skills I, I have a lot of uh, assets that would make me a good employee and so some of you are thinking about you know making demands um, for either like a salary renegotiation a salary increase or even thinking about breaking out of your current job to branch off into a different sector a different department a different career path altogether and some of you wanting to rise to a managerial or a supervisory position and feeling like your efforts might be thwarted because you want to do things by the book, but you feel like the people that are there, they're, they're getting ahead based on their social contacts, by their professional contacts. So you feel like it's really hard for you to get your foot in the door if you're doing things by the book and not making traction. So you might feel like you're at a point where you want to compromise a little bit and, you know, try to get on the, the, the inside circle of a specific organization or a, a specific professional contact because you feel like that's the only way for you to break through. So, you, you know, it, it's sort of like um, having to accommodate or having to, you know, um, having to rely on your professional contact. And you don't want to do that. You want to do things by the book. And you feel like other people that are going that route, doing favors for people, doing, you know, things that they're not supposed to. And um, I guess like sucking up to uh, superiors or even, you know, different people from different departments in order to get favors done. You're looking at it and you're just like, no, I'm not going to do that. And good for you because I feel like it is the honorable thing to do. 
but you feel at the same time you're working really hard and you're not getting into you know that managerial supervisory position you're not getting added responsibilities and you're not getting that pay increase or even like that uh, job title that you've been yearning for and so some of you are feeling unappreciated on the work environment this month and you feel also that your creativity might be stifled and as a result of that you are really um, aware of you know um, putting more emphasis on your social circle relying on your social circle your friends and your family um, in order to give you that self-esteem boost in order to give you that validation but I would say that you know say what you need to say if it's a salary negotiation that you're going for I do feel this is a good um, in April we do have mercury in retrograde so I, I don't want to say like this is the ideal time but I do feel if you've been working for a few months thinking this way feeling this way possibly in the May time frame or even you know for now if you've been thinking for about it for quite some time it is a good time to ask for a salary raise to be a little bit more assertive when it comes to your needs in a specific work environment so that you can be happy so that you feel appreciated and you feel that your contribution matters okay if you were to do that I do feel your employees or your employers actually your whoever you're working under they will do their best to try to retain you so a lot of it this month has to be with um, dealing with self-expression you know what you need in order to be to feel content and I also feel like it's coming through first in your relationship sector when it comes to like uh, romantic relationships work partnerships if you're dealing with a partner who you can't see eye to eye with and I feel like a business partner for some of you uh, there will be you know a lot of negotiations compromise that is coming through but I feel like you might be the one doing all the compromise in the past and the other person is not really budging and so they're feeling almost smug and they're feeling like they don't need to change because you're more flexible and so as a result you're doing all the accommodation and they're not really budging from their stance okay this has been uh, an issue in in your relationship sector and so that sense of being a lot more expressive and verbal about what you need and to try to balance out the responsibilities and to be confrontational even even though you're you're shying away from it is really urging you to be less conflict avoidant and to be a little bit more assertive when it comes to your emotional or even practical needs okay so having said that for the past five months it was a lot of give and take in relationships and learning what that means and standing up for yourself communicating your truth and so now it's also coming across in your work sector and it's very undeniable right like if it's coming in in the, if the same energy is extending across work and across personal relationships even across family where you feel like you might be conflict avoided then I do sense it's coming through now for you to make this drastic change for you to be a lot more clear-headed about your objectives what you are trying to achieve and how you're going to be able to verbalize what you need to achieve all of these things so it's the same energy permeating across work where you feel underappreciated in your relationship sector where you're trying to maintain the peace and not asking for what you need and then in the career sector as well feeling as if you deserve more but not really taking the steps to ask for it so this is a major it's a big month for you and you know like mercury and retrograde periods it uh, it's gonna run from April 9th until May 3rd and mercury retrograde periods usually brings up a lot of uncomfortable things that we have swept under the rug so that we can learn to deal with it and so issues that are um, that pertain to communication whether or not we have been honest whether or not we have been truthful whether, whether or not we have been open and candid about something how we communicate how effective we are at conveying uh, either literal concepts abstract concept but more than anything convey what we need all of these things are being revisited for this month and so you have quite a few major arcana cards and I do sense this is going to be a um, it's a momentous month in which communication with ourselves and, and other people like being truthful 
about what we want and communicating in a very, very direct, frank manner, even though it might rub some people the wrong way. But in the end, we know that we can be proud that we spoke our truth. That's going to be very important, okay? Um, with the Mercury in retrograde cycle as well, it is a very, very notorious time for um, lies to be uncovered, for people to, um, you know, say a lie and then immediately karma coming back, like right away, full circle. So be very, very careful about, you know, what you are go doing and being very careful about what your intentions are. I, I feel like that's going to be really important for this month, okay? For all the signs, not just for you, but I do feel um, traveling, commuting, traveling, commuting, transportation overall. Uh, don't go over the speed limit. Be very, very careful about what you are transporting. Making sure that, you know, your vehicle is um, making sure you know where you're going. Be very extra attentive. I feel like you're very scattered. You're forgetful. You might leave, you know, important items behind. And I also feel like you're you're scattering your time as well. So there's a little bit of a time crunch. So you're you're running around in a very fast manner. Just be careful about accidents. Okay. I, I feel like that's going to be really crucial for you for the month of April. And so. The last thing that I want to mention here uh, concerns your relationship sector. So here's what I'm feeling. There has been this up and down type of energy with you guys for the past nine months. And uh, I feel like, you know, it came in with uh, first there's like money issues and then there's also like relationships. And then after that, there's money issues. And now I feel like this is more like work issues. So I feel like for the past nine months, it has been kind of up and down. There has been like very high highs, very, very low lows. And um, I feel like there has been a lot of anxiety for some of you. A lot of anxiety regarding a specific relationship. Um, you want commitment. You want stability. You want commitment. The other person that you're involved with. So this is for those of you in stable relationships. The other person involved you're involved with wants commitment, wants stability, wants marriage, you know, the whole nine yards. So you both want the same things. There's very strong chemistry, but the both of you are like different people. There is a really strong chemistry, but almost zero compatibility. And you're trying to make things work. And um, I almost feel like in the process of catering to this person, um, you don't want to hurt them. They're, they're, they seem like a very good person, you know, generally very straightforward, wear their heart on their sleeves. And uh, for those of you who are dealing with this person, um, I feel like you they, they want to rush you. They want the commitment. They want you to be very clear about your intentions. And so I feel like some of you are really not sure. You, you see the incompatibility, but you also see the attraction. And you also feel like this is a person that you really like and you see them, you see the, all the good qualities in them, the, the reliability, you know, the dependability. And so you're trying to make things work when your own life, I feel like all of these things in your life needs to stabilize first before this relationship can be seen in a realistic lens. Does that make sense? So the 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 past nine months that series of ups and down it's basically telling you that there are some areas in your life where some of you need to be a little bit more you need to chill out a little bit which is the social outing i feel like it's really cutting into your time for practical responsibilities running around and uh, feeling a little bit frustrated and not having that sense of stability that you're looking for and when you're home environment is a little bit clutter and messy when you have like a million things that you're supposed to do in a day you're not in the right frame of mind to hone in on your intuition it's rare like it happens for few people you know they're they're able to manage it and, and like a switch goes off and they can manage the abstract and the intuition and the the practical responsibilities but i feel like from your end you're heavily affected by other people's energies. So they're telling you to narrow down, to, to pare down 
on what relationships are important, what needs fixing, and what can be left on the back burner for now. So don't put so much on your plate. Don't put so much on your plate that you don't have time for, and you're kind of like um, cutting corners with all your responsibilities, okay? So be very, very careful about energetically where you're giving your energy away, and as well, I feel like there is a relationship here and it, it, it it's both parties want it to work very, very badly, but there's a lot of incompatibilities here. Okay. A lot of incompatibilities, cultural values, religious values, political values, even my like personal family values are very, very different. And it seems like two people wanting the same things, things should be simple, right? But there is a lot of lack of compatibility and I feel like a lot of you might be the one that's compromising, compromising, compromising. And then this relationship doesn't even resemble a union anymore. It just seems like it was, it's all about the other person. And so I feel like a lot of you, your light is dimming your sense of purpose, your own truths, your own values. It's, it's being overshadowed by this relationship. And I feel like in the work environment too, your sense of ethics, your sense of, you know, what's the smart thing to do? What's the right thing to do? What's the most productive thing to do? Is overshadowed by somebody else who has a big ego and you don't want to confront them. And so I feel like um, there is a lot of like conflict avoidance here, wanting to smooth things out, wanting to be um, almost like blend into the, the, the background so that you're not conf to, to dodge to dodge uh, confrontation and um, the longer you do that the more anxious you become so try to take care of those things okay uh, stand up for what you believe stand really stand up for what you believe and starting out not getting aggressive but I feel like if you uh, swept it under under the rug for quite some time it might come out as anger so you you want to be smart about this and like have a game plan have a game plan as to how you can approach this topic, how you can convince the other person to come to your side of things so that they also see it as being in their best interest as well. So that means doing a little bit more digging and that means doing a little bit more research, gathering data from your end so that you can um, present something in a very coherent way, okay? So that's what I feel coming through for you guys. Um, I wish you the best. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.